Hello and welcome to everybody on Cloud Fitness. So in today's video, we are going to solve another lead code problem, which is a very important problem, and that is Pascal's triangle. So let's move on to the lead code and see exactly how we can solve this particular problem. But yes, before moving on to this uh, particular question, do remember to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Coming on to the Pascal's triangle, now this is also a very important question which is asked, which is asked in a lot of, uh, you know, interviews, be it your Amazon, be it your Microsoft, like you can see this question, you know, this is a basic question, uh, which, you know, interviewer might just start with this question to understand, you know, whether you are able to think, whether you are able to write a code in whatever preferred language of your choice. In my case, I'm going to use Python. Also, I'm going to leave the link in the description box so that you also can try this particular question by a different way or maybe the same way now coming exactly to a pascal triangle you need to understand first what exactly a pascal triangle is right so basically in pascal triangle each number is a sum of two numbers directly above it right so for example if you look at this animation that is going on right if you see at the top you have one right now directly above this row of one right you have no element over here on the left hand side but you have one over here right so then zero plus one will be equal to one similarly here also one plus zero is equal to one now when you come down here uh, on the left hand side you have one because on the left hand side of the above row you have zero right zero plus one equal to one but here one plus one is equal to two so every element is actually the sum of above two elements so this is how your pascal triangle is in case you did not understand hold on to this video or open this particular link and try to see the animation you will understand it very clearly what exactly it is so ideally in a pascal triangle what happens is the left hand side and the right hand side will always be one element will always be one and in the middle the element will be the sum of above two elements always right that is essentially your pascal's triangle now here in this particular uh, question what you need to do is you might be given the number of rows right as an input so if i give you the number of input rows as five right as per this animation first row second row third row fourth row and fifth row it has five rows right now the moment someone gives your code our uh, input as five it should you know show you the the code should actually show the pascal triangle in this format which is list format right you have this list and inside that list you have another set of list then each list actually represent the pascal triangle so for example one over here is the first row right and then one one over here is actually the second row let me zoom it as well now you can see the one one is actually the second row similarly you have one two one which is the third row one three three one which is the fourth row and one four six four one which is the fifth row so this is how you know you need to take in the input and this is the expected output right so this is you know i am choosing python over here and you can see there is a function which takes a number of rows as an input and gives you list of lists as an output which is nothing but a pascal triangle and even to explain it a bit better i'll simply open the excel sheet over here in fact let me open it side by side this will be more helpful here here you go so essentially if you look at this particular excel right it is also for the number of rows five now whatever you are seeing over here right the number of rows are actually five over here and this is how a pascal triangle is formed so the first element is one then your second element second row is one one then your third row is one two one then your you know fourth row is one three three one i mean the third row uh, basically one two three four and five so this this one is for the sixth let me just remove it i think then it will be more clear so essentially this is for the five rows when the number of input rows is five right this is how your pascal triangle is actually going to look like and it is same as what you are seeing in the animation as well on the left hand side right now first 
element is 1 right and the subsequent element if you see here 1 1 in the animation right on the top it is 0 1 and from the left it is 0 and on the right side of 1 is also 0 so 0 plus 1 1 1 plus 0 1 so basically the typical formation of a Pascal triangle and then if you see this particular 2 over here right now above this 2 you have 1 and 1 right so 1 plus 1 2 that is how you got 2 similarly if you see here 3 how you got this 3 1 plus 2 you got 3 over here similarly how you got 3 in this particular row 2 plus 1 3 when you talk about this one how you got this one 1 plus 0 1 right similarly coming on to this 4 how you got this 4 1 plus 3 4 how you got the 6 3 plus 3 6 how you got this 4 3 plus 1 4 right so this is how your tri pascal triangle is actually built and remember in case you do not understand this hold on just pause this video open this particular lead code i'll leave the link in the description box just open it and just try to understand how pascal triangle is actually formed that is the very basic step to solve this question now moving ahead if you see what i can do is i can do some kind of matrix indexing right so this becomes a matrix right a 2d matrix it becomes a 2d matrix now if you see on the left hand side i have indexed it starting from 0 0 1 2 3 4 right and similarly at the top as well i have done some indexing right 0 1 2 3 4 right i've just done some indexing i call this these rows as uh, you know 0 1 2 3 which is representing the rows i call it as i and the ones which are representing the columns i call it as j right so any element which is at 0 and 0 is 1 right any element where now you have to actually see you know you have to understand this before moving on to the coding part the very first thing that you need to see over here is whenever j is equal to 0 because this is j right this is all j j1 j2 j3 j4 right now whenever j is 0 your element is 1 right so you can actually say when j is equal to equal to 0 then in that case your element is 1 right and then the other observation is whenever your i and j are equal right whenever you know you have 1 as i and 1 as j then you have 1 as the uh, element similarly if you see 2 comma 2 right 2 comma 2 is basically uh, the row index is 2 and the j is also 2 over here so that is also 1 so you can actually say that when j is equal to equal to i right then also your uh, data point will be 1 right then also you are getting the point as 1 okay so we are very clear with this part let me just highlight it with some uh, color so with this green part we actually know that we have already satisfied we know the condition now right when j will be equal to 0 and when j will be equal to i in both these cases my data point will be 1 right my data point will be 1 and now i have to check how i should fill in these parts 2 3 3 4 6 4 right now in this case it is again very simple now you can see i have already written the answer over here right now this 2 i already told you what is this 2 this 2 is the sum of above two elements just above it if you see here in the animation this 2 right in between it is sum of 1 and 1 right so when you talk about this 2 let me just highlight this 2 once uh, let me highlight it with okay i need some color let me highlight it with red color as of now oh okay let me choose red okay so when we talk about this two uh, two point right now here i is two right what we can say we have to go one row above we actually have to go here right to sum these so here how do we go above here we will actually say i minus one right let me just put it in bracket i minus one i will say i minus one right now j also minus 1 if you look at here i when when i say 2 right i have to go here i want to do a sum of this one 
I have to first fetch this one. Now what is this one? This one is i minus 1 and j minus 1. Right? Because my current j is this j. But I am going to take this element so my j will become j minus 1. Let me just write in j minus 1. Right? And then coming on to this. I have got this element. Now coming on to this element. What is this element? This element is j element. Right? This is again i minus 1 and j. It is going one row above but the column is j only. Right? So I can actually what I can do, I can say plus in the bracket, I can say i minus 1 and here I can also say j, right? So the moment I sum this, I'll get 2, right? Similarly, coming on to the 3 here, let me just uh, make it no fill and now if I say 3, right? Now how do I know? Uh, you know that it has to be 3 here and it need to do sum sum of what 1 and 2 I need to do sum of 1 and 2 over here now sum of 1 and 2 what exactly it is i minus 1 because right now i is 3 I want to go to the one row above I will go 1 i minus 1 and I will go j minus 1 as well because I need to fetch this element this one right and then already I am in i minus 1th row but then I want this element as well which is this element this element is j right so the sum of these two I will get over here similarly for the second this 3 as well right i minus 1 j minus 1 so now my j is actually this j right now since my j is this let me just uh, you know decolor this and color this now if you talk about this particular three what is happening over here I I need to do some of these two elements right two and one I will go I minus one I am in the top row right this is my current J now to fetch the two I will say J minus one and then to fetch the one I will say I minus one and J so that is how I will get the three over here so this is how actually you need to understand these three things to create the you know to solve this particular problem so let me you know uh, the same thing we actually need to do in form of code over here and the output has to be a list right now when the output is actually a list what you need to do you need to first declare a list because see you can have output as a list only when you declare a list first right so let's declare a list and then what we will do we need i and j right so from where i is coming i is coming from this number right you are saying me in this particular question you are given a number number of rows is five now based on those uh, that five number you have to create the pascal triangle right so my i will go up till when it will go up till number of rows so if i say i5 right it will go up till here it has to iterate it till here right zero one two three four so let's say for i in range range of what range of number of rows number of rows is what is our input so my i will go from where 0 1 2 3 4 this is how my i will go right now if you see output output is not just a list right output is a list of list now each and every element here is also a list right so whatever you do inside the for loop that also you have to store in form of a list right so for that you have to create another list let's say temp list and that temp list when you create for each iteration you store it inside the list right now again now you have for i you got i now similarly you can say for j right you can say for j in range now j will go from where to where j will go from the range of i till the range of i plus 1 right now this is also very clear that j will go from the range of i plus 1 it will again go for 0 1 2 3 4 by uh, 0 1 2 3 4 right so this is how even your j will go inside i right now the first condition we will write if j is equal to equal to 0 that we have already seen right or j is equal to equal to i then in that case what we are doing we are saying that temp list temp list temp list the less list that we have created dot append 1 then in that case we are appending the list by 1 right so 
I have already told you that whenever I j is equal to zero, whenever j is zero or j is equal to i, the green highlighted part. Now in that case, what is going to happen? Data will always be one. So in this temp list that we have created, we have just appended one in this case, right? Now we will talk about the other part of it. Other part is what? Other part is actually these. 2, 3, 3, 4, 6, 4, right? This is our second condition, right? Now, in that case, what we will do? What we will do? We will say temp list. We are going to again append it to temp list, right? Now, what we are going to append, right? What we are going to append? We need to understand this, right? We are going to say, what we are going to say? That we want i minus 1. We want to go one above i minus one and then we want to have j minus ones and we want to add it we want to add it to what we want to add it to the above two elements right so the above two elements i have already explained it will be i minus one j minus one plus i minus one and j this is how you are going to append it right now let's say list one as well here because these are the elements that you are going to append to now Essentially, uh, let's come out of this for loop right now. Once you have this temp, you have this temp list created. Now here we are actually appending everything to the temp list to this particular temporary list. Now this temporary list is nothing but these these lists, right? One 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 two one one three three one. These are the temp list. Now all these elements of the temp list. What I actually want to do? I actually want to append my temp list right list one I, I i actually want to append my temp list to the list one itself right so let's say temp list uh, list one dot append that whatever is there in my temp list just append it to the list one and then you can say return me the list one right let me just run this particular code so essentially this is how you actually do this particular solution of pascal triangle if you have any question do let me know in the comment section and let me just submit it as well so essentially you can do it in num numerous ways but this is i feel this is the you know most uh, you know very basic understandable way to do it and do let me know in the comment section if you have any issues because the other question that I'm going to put after this video that will also be related to the Pascal triangle only, right? So thank you so much guys for being till here and do remember to like, share and subscribe to my channel.